a good deal that should really fit our needs very well this is what makes apps run faster i feel like a grandma when i'm saying this talking about rgb this is like the most viable option the mind is our only limitation why am i saying that this is faster you tell me guys how is your experience with the sims 4 on the mac platform how hardcore we're gonna be go for six gigs if you can i've just realized that i've been talking to my camera without even recording we do have a t-shirt that says ho 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 so i feel like we're very festive today today's video is going to be filled with a lot of information about what you should look into when deciding to purchase a gaming laptop or you know pc by the way i'm not by any means an expert or a specialist when it comes to electronics pcs laptops and all that great jazz i'm just speaking from my own experience because i know that when we have like a specific component that specific component makes everything run a lot smoother if we are talking about much more competitive games you're obviously gonna need a much more powerful system in order to run those games a much more powerful cpu one that has maybe like eight 10 12 cores we really want to have like a much more powerful gpu which stands for graphics card talking about rgb i am so pumped when it comes to rgb what about the mac os system because i know that some of you guys like do you have macs we are much more restricted with a windows pc or a gaming laptop we have much more options to choose from we can opt for you know a much more powerful graphics card we can opt for much more ram the mind is our only limitation when it comes to that you tell me guys how is your experience with the sims 4 on the mac platform because i seriously love dos these ones are specifically made for gaming gpu we really gotta have at least four gigs of gpu if you manage to find a good deal you can also go for six gigs we also have eight gigs 11 gigs when it comes to this range this is a lot pricier obviously you do you you can determine which one fits your budget this will be the most affordable price range then we level up a little bit and when it comes to these three gpus integrated within a pc or a laptop we are talking about some very expensive prices we really got to define our budget as well as how hardcore we're gonna be when using the system go for six gigs if you can this is like the most viable option when it comes to gaming with six gigs you can do so many things you can also do editing you can do rendering if you manage to find a sale definitely go for the six gigs the gpu is going to determine how your videos everything that's related to the graphics how smooth your game is going to be how detailed your graphics are going to be in the game so you do you again you do you you know what's best for you and what fits your budget when it comes to cpu we we do have like ones that come with four cores, six cores, eight cores, probably 10 cores and 12 cores. But again, these are very much on the high end side. You ideally want to have at least like six cores if you can, because the more cores that your system is going to have, the more resources your computer is going to have in order for it to run different sorts of apps. It's also recommended to have more cores if you're planning to multitask so let's just say for instance you want a game and have photoshop in the background or maybe render a video this is gonna need so much more cores and obviously a much more high-end gpu so that it doesn't crash okay ideally i would strive for six or eight cores that should really fit our needs very well because we are just simulating we are playing simulation games storage slash internal memory most models do come with either ssd or hdd or some of them might come with both of them you really gotta install your apps onto your ssd this is what makes apps run faster and load faster gonna make everything a lot faster why am i saying that this is faster because we are talking about write and read speed either one of these hdd or ssd do have 
particular write and read speeds. And that basically means how fast that HDD or that SSD reads a specific file, let's just say you're the Sims 4, right? When you're opening the Sims 4 app, your HDD is reading files in order to open that specific game because obviously everything that is on our computer, every program is made up of files. Go with an SSD if you can in today's age. I feel like a grandma when I'm saying this, but you really gotta have at least 250 SSD. 128 is a bit tight in my opinion if you can make 128 work for you go for it but i'm just saying that with these many updates windows updates game updates your ssd is gonna get piled up by different sorts of updates and you are gonna run out of storage so quickly ideally we want to strive for 256 do not pile up your ssd with pictures if that specific laptop or pc does come with an additional you would want to use SSDs mostly for apps in your operating system because it helps them run and launch a lot faster. And the HDD is much more affordable. Like you can get one terabyte of HDD or even like two or three or five for a much better price. And you can put all of your things that aren't apps. Do pay attention to those speeds, compare them, see how fast they can write slash read different sorts of files. The higher the value, the better memory this is also crucial because those two do really go hand in hand like the internal memory slash the storage and the ROM memory SSD and the ROM ensure that your apps are gonna be launched smoothly when it comes to ROM those do not have a write and read speed but they do have a frequency there are some ones that come with like 2666 megahertz which is okay but not like that does Ideally, we want to choose something that has a frequency higher than 3000 megahertz. This makes everything run faster. It ensures the fact that you can also run multiple apps at the same time. Obviously, it really depends on the amount of RAM that you have. These ones are some of the best values for RAM. Really gotta have at least 8 gigs of RAM. If you really want to use like multiple apps while gaming, it's also recommended to go with this amount of ROM. If there is a deal, you can also go for 8 gigs and also check if there's an additional slot for ROM and upgrade your laptop or PC later on when you notice that your PC doesn't run as fast. It's a bit problematic when it comes to like purchasing later on a ROM. PC experts, laptop experts do say that it's best to buy your ROM when you're buying your computer. When you purchase your computer or your PC, that specific RAM does have a specific series. So when you're deciding that you want to buy an additional ROM, you're going to buy a totally different RAM stick with a totally different series. And that might not work as desired. There are many gamers and many people that have complained that their additional ROM does not work that well with the RAM that they already had in their computer. So that's why it's best to buy your ROM from the beginning and have the same series so that we can make sure that there are not going to be any issues at all now again you do you you know what's best for you you know what kind of budget you've established for purchasing such a thing you guys know that i'm preaching about making your current computer run faster making your game run faster without upgrading freeing up some space might be the solution for you maybe you know just adding an ssd to your computer if it does support an ssd is the solution for you and so you really gotta look at at your specs look what kind of ROM what kind of processor what kind of storage you do have and figure out what are the solutions in your case like you can purchase a brand new computer but you can also upgrade or you can optimize your PC or laptop to make it run a bit faster, you know? There must be a solution for each and everything. It's all about finding ways to optimize it, okay? Whether we're talking about deleting some stuff that we don't really use in order to maximize our storage. It could be uninstalling some apps that you no longer use. It could also be performing a defragment and optimizing drives. And if you're on Windows, you can search in the taskbar 
are defragment and optimized drives and you can basically select your desired drive and then optimize i don't know what kind of computer you do have but there is always something you can do about it you can either upgrade or optimize your current system or if you finally decide to like make a switch and upgrade to a newer model there are plenty of options that you can choose from it's always 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 important to make the wise decision really evaluating how much you're gonna use it for which purposes you're gonna use it because you might want to use it for editing as well for rendering for 3d modeling and obviously if we are talking about multitasking and doing such high consuming activities such as rendering 3d modeling we're obviously going to need much more powerful resources if that makes sense and by resources i mean all of these components that i've laid out over here for you which is ssd rom gpu cpu all that great jazz i really like to talk about the sticky stuff you do you you guys you know what's best for you thank you so much for stopping by it means a lot to me and i will see you very very soon